Good afternoon, it's uh, four o'clock on Thursday the 25th of August and uh, the first film of the new year. I uh, hope you are all well and the summer has been good and not been blown away in these uh, conditions. We um, have put all our plans together for next term. We have put a letter out, hopefully you will have received it already. It is available through parent pay email, uh, it's on the website and also will be a link on our Twitter. Uh, quite a lot in here. First page really is talking you through all the safety information, how we're going to work. Uh, please do take time to read that. We know that there are some anxieties out there, but we have shown during the period from March 23rd to the end of July that we've got the school in a really good place. Staff have worked so hard over the summer. The rooms are set out, laid out safely for all the children to come back. So the key thing is that all children are back in September. That's a, a key message from uh, the government that uh, we want children in. Um, so the, the letter then takes you through uh, how we're going to look at things like transition days. So obviously there are some children who were with us all the way through March through the end of the term, some children that we haven't seen for a long time, and some new children coming in, as well as our reception children who are joining us for the first time. So you... Uh, will have had a letter at the end of last year, end of year letter, uh, so that was the report for your child and then also trans inf transition information, so that's the slot that your child is coming in for. If you've not received that, and we know that some people haven't seen the email or don't, uh, don't have the right email on parent pay, please uh, get in touch with us as soon as possible. Uh, you can ring into school, we're in uh, this week, uh, or email. So, um, Within this, you should know whether your child is in a slot on the 3rd or the 4th, that's the Thursday, the Friday of September, um, and you have a morning or afternoon slot. So there's one slot, so we've got small groups in, they get to meet their new teacher, they get to meet the members of the staff working uh, around them, and just get to know that when they start, and we all start on Monday the 7th of September, they're feeling confident about how everything is. So uh, that's a period where uh, we'll have school leaders on the gate and, and staff and, and, and you can meet people but bringing the children in using the one-way system so that's coming on uh, via the gate down the side of uh, Key Stage 1 and round um, Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to welcome uh, parents into the school building, so uh, there is a clear mark uh, for parents to stand uh, up to, and then uh, children can go in, in into the classroom there. And we are working very hard on social distancing and ask people um, to stick to that. Where possible, we would like one parent per child coming in. Um, now we're obviously aware that there are some uh, particular circumstances, um, so where possible, one parent per child. We're trying to keep numbers as low as possible. So that then takes us on to um, having had their one session um, uh, of transition, and we are expecting children in because it is from the advertised uh, start dates, uh, and we'll be ringing if we don't see children. We, we need children in to have their transition session. Uh, all children in starting Monday the 7th of September. So the uh, start times are staggered as politicians have been talking about uh, on the television and in the newspapers. So if your child's surname begins A to F, uh, that is a start time of 8.35 to 8.40 uh, and then collection time 3.05 to 3.10. G to O, 8.40 to 8.45, and collection time of 3.10 to 3.15. P to Z, 8.45 to 8.50, and then 3.15 to 3.20 pick up. If you're in the position where you have children with different surnames, go for the surname of the older child, please. Um, but, you know, again, we ask people to stick to those times. We're truly trying to make sure that things are as safe for you and your children uh, and as organised as possible. One of the differences uh, this year, um, th this year from the end of last year, the uniform expectations. Government made it very clear that they expect uh, the uniform policy to be um, back in place. We relaxed it during the summer, 
but including the transition days, children now back in uniform, um, and it's fully detailed within the letter. Um, PE will start the week of the 14th of September. What we're suggesting is children come in their PE kit on the days uh, when it's registered for that. Now, in the letter at the bottom of page two and the top of page three, you've got all the days that that uh, is relevant for your child. So then takes on to uh, a few other bits. What to bring to school? <laughs> bring as little as possible we don't have the trays so the child each child will have an area in there around their seat uh, and what they bring to school remains with them so bring a coat pack lunch if you're not having a school dinner water bottle and the school reading book please do not bring big rucksacks i know it's the um the tradition or the fashion to have huge bags we just have no space for them and don't bring toys or anything else from home uh, final few bits Breakfast Club will be operating from Monday the 7th of September. Um, what we will say is that children dropped off between 8 and 10 coming in through the front gate. Um, if you need to book those, please ring into school or email inquiries at longsutton.links.sc.uk. Um, there are no after school clubs at the moment uh, until further notice. And again, that's in line with government guidance. Lunches. Um, Miss Smith's been working very hard on that. So from Monday the 7th, school dinners will be um, be available. Menus have been published on Parent Pay and are on the website as well. So again, you can get your allergen information. We've got uh, two vegan options each week. And we've also kept the things like the roast dinners, all the old favourites. Um, still £2.30 a meal. Cut off for ordering for the first week is Tuesday the 1st of September. So you've got a week to get that ordered and you can order for the whole term. Um, remember if your child likes the meals on a Tuesday, Wednesday and a Friday, they can just have three days, have whatever you want. We're really flexible. That's why we have that lag between final booking and when your child eats the meals. But please do um, support that. The team have put so much work in. Um, to make sure everything again is safe we will um, be looking at um, getting some more information out to you your first newsletter or something like that and then attendance um, Gavin Williamson the Secretary of State for Education and Boris Johnson have been very very clear about expectations around attendance uh, and that it is mandatory um, we will be put under pressure by the government uh, to ensure that our attendance rates, which were improving so much, we'd bro broken all our targets, which was brilliant. It's so well up to the uh, pandemic. Again, we need the children in. Um, we will be making first calls and we will be uh, coming out and doing safe and well checks if we don't hear from you. So please bring your child to school. And if they're not in, please, please, please ring us so that uh, we know. Um, last few bits. Um, staffing update so as you know Mrs Carr uh, retired at the end of last academic year uh, we've appointed Miss Morris uh, to the role of family liaison lead and designated safeguarding lead so slight change in role but essentially doing a lot of that parent facing work um, and then we've got quite a few other new appointments I'll get my list now so um, We've got nursery is now operating from 8 till 5. We're doing whole day sessions. We've sent out flyers and adverts. But again, if you want some information about that, please ring us or email us. And we'll send a pack out. So Mrs. Smith will be uh, leading the team there. And we're very key, uh, very pleased we've appointed uh, to work in that team. The super team of Mrs. Botting, Miss Manning, Miss Owen, uh, Mrs. Braggington and Mrs. Sayers, who will be working over in the nursery. Um, we've also got joining us um, Mr Nyang will be the maternity cover for Miss, uh, for Miss Barton and Mr Graham has joined us as a sports apprentice big emphasis on the outdoors and big emphasis on uh, PE sessions this, this year and then also we have two uh, skit students those are the um, trainees that we've had many in the past and have employed quite a few of those two workers uh, fully qualified teachers and this year, Mr. Ford will be joining us in year four, operating largely in Mr. Whitehead's class, and Miss Harper in year two, operating in Mrs. Lee's class. Other bits of exciting news, Miss Barton has had a, a beautiful uh, baby, little boy, 
and uh, Miss Hasnett will be uh, known as Mrs Gowdy um, from September, getting married over the summer. So lots of things have taken place, uh, lots of developments with and around school. Cannot wait to uh, see the children. We know that um, lots of things being projected in the uh, press. School is open for everyone. We have put so much into this. We want the kids in. We know the best place for the children is here. Um, Mr Singleton, uh, as Head of Learning and Teaching, has put in so much work with, uh, with the staff in terms of catch-up plans, in terms of everything that we're doing. Uh, and we've been asked to share those with other schools because they, they they look so good. Um, there's a lot of work taking place in terms of our work around reading uh, and lots of exciting initiatives around that and lots of, oh, thousands of pounds worth of books have been bought, new guided reading stock. And the whole school from nursery up to year six are going to, do, going to be doing a two week project around the Oliver Jeffers book, Here We Are to give us that sense of coming together. Um, so lots and lots of wonderful things. We know that you as parents will have concerns. We know that some children will be nervous about coming to school. Some children will be incredibly excited and we're prepared for all of that and we'll take it steady. You know that old mantra we have of doing it right, not rushed, and we will get those children in. They are gonna be stressful times early on. We will have because it's us and because it is the way that we work, the highest expectations of our children in terms of behaviour and the highest level of support for our children uh, for their behaviour. We'd also ask that um, those accessing the site and adults who are bringing children and picking them up help us as much as possible by sticking to those times and sticking to the uh, requests around not coming into school, all about picking the child up and then coming off the school site because we're trying to move people through. It's a new way of working, that, that phrase that's been used so much, the, the new normal. But you know as a school and as a community that when things are difficult, that when things get tough, there's no place like Long Sutton. We always come to the fore as a town and as a school community. And I know we'll make a success of this. So... Um, Please do dig out the information. It's been emailed. If you haven't gotten the email or issues over parent pay, you can download it from the website or from our Twitter stream. Um, and then if you've not received the information about which transition day, please ring in tomorrow. Uh, we can give you that information um, and, and get the children back in. So a long one. I, I will um, try and g uh, get more videos out more regularly, but they won't be 12 and a half or 13 minutes long. So looking forward to seeing over coming days um, and looking forward to seeing all the children back. Those two transition sessions on 3rd and 4th and then on the 7th, everybody back in and uh, it will be fantastic. See you soon. Thank you.